amazing how. Amazing how at noon you're there among a hundred bikes and cars and buses, tractors, trucks and taxis, and alone on a British horse. Among children, men and women, a hundred million who must live in this immediate city. Amazing how at noon, in the midst of all this traffic, human and inhuman, suddenly there is nothing and no one but you. Sometimes tired, sometimes tired of the struggle and the light. I have hid my eyes and the hours of my day and all my waking powers in a strategy of sleep, hoping to duck this fight in some blind alley. And so I sleep and step into what seems a, na a nasty, a, a seamless dream. A turning nightmare turns on me, picks me up and shakes me like a rag till I fall flat out and wide awake, sweating, but relieved that even my stars, even my dark hole stars, and schemes to make oblivion luminous. Oh, this is a poem I should have read two weeks ago, tax time. <laughs> but it was late as my return. Um, when it comes to taxes, I never cheat. I simply choose the right accountant. By the way, is anybody from the IRS here? Is supposed to... Okay, good. When it comes to taxes, I never cheat. I simply choose the right accountant. One narrow-minded type wouldn't speak to me. The next one was more generous. Filling my pockets with deductions. A mortgage on a house I could never afford. Extortionate union dues. And car fare and back from Timbuktu. I stopped them only at two children, unbaptized and unborn, thinking only of their future, should their daddy go to jail. <laughs> and, 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 last one, uh, for the poet who stopped screaming one day. This is for the poet who ran out of ammo. This is for the poet who ran out of words and started screaming one day. This is for the poet who stopped screaming because who listens anyway? Or maybe just stop to listen for a moment. This is for the silent poet. This is for the poet disappointed in love or in anything to the point of disappearing, oh. but returns. This is also for the artist, also the musician, for the cook and the dancer, the social worker, the beautician. This is for the poet who returns to his world and his words, reassembles them carefully, completely alone. This is for the poet alone, who rehearses his craft, and rehearses his craft, and rehearses his craft, for why not say nothing? And this is the picture of the poet on the back of her book, the one that was published to a sort of mild interest and to her own surprise. She is standing in sunlight on the roof of her building the one she didn't jump from. <laughs>